In today's video, I want to share with you my home lab project for this weekend. Let's go to this. What I have? I have Raspberry Pi 3B. I am going to use this like a DNS server with PyHole installed on this. Right now, I use this on my work uh, for myself, only for my PC. And uh, also, I have this installed on my own PC on Proxmox, actually. But it's uh, this topic for another video. And today I want to show you what I want to do with all of this stuff. Last week or maybe two weeks ago, I like I tried to to cool this actively. What I did, I connected this one to the just uh, put it on the top and then with USB connected to this connector. It was uh, like, okay, I could cool down maybe 10 degrees, this uh, chip. But what I decided to do? I took this box. This is a power supplier from old PC, which was broken. And uh, I, how I want to use it? I want to install inside Pi hole, Raspberry Pi, I mean, and uh, also connect all of this to this button, yes, and also use this cable for electricity, like this. How it's gonna look like, what I'm actually wanna do. I don't need this. I wanna install my hole on this place, like this is gonna look like. Then also, I want to install this socket inside and just connect somehow inside this and at the end I will be able to use this like in this way, it's gonna be closed in this way and we just can turn on or off our DNS server. But first of all I have to make here a rectangle hole for my connectors for all of this stuff, like for USB power supplier, for 3.5 millimeter jack, for audio, and also for HDMI. And from this side, I also have to make hole to connect USB, for USB connectors, and for RJ45, for internet connector. Okay, for this, for this, I have this tool. I bought it recently. I don't know, I haven't tried, and with this stuff, I want to show you also, I will show you how I will do this, like this and this. You will see it a bit later. Anyway, we don't need this. Also, I don't know, but I have idea, like maybe I will add this, like a cooler with thermal paste. To this chip but it's like quite big i want to also cut it make it smaller and install and i don't know somehow i have to mount this here also i want to connect this uh, like previous one cooler i connected via usb cable usb a but now i want to connect this like directly to some of these pins first of all i have to find which of these pins like ground pins plus to understand where I can find here yeah, I think five volts okay we will see it a bit later okay let's go bam, bam, bam. Bam, 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 bam. And now also I am gonna cut this piece for that this could fit to chip to CPU. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> Quite cool, yeah. 
Okay, my dear. Then look at this. I mounted five holes inside. I made two holes, two bolts. I isolated from another side this under under the motherboard from that side between this and also I found uh, this second and third pin in the bottom it works uh, it has plus and ground and positive and negative and uh, uh, it has 5 volt when I connect you can see fan is spinning to this side it's gonna take air from outside and blow it inside and to another side also I made this hole I'm gonna put it in this way okay I will show you it a bit later look at this now it's gonna be like this from this side we have access to all of the sports and from the from the top of this we have access to all of the three ports from this side fan for cable connection on off right now it doesn't work I have to install inside this one socket but also I don't like this maybe I will buy today another one if I can find this okay we will see when we connect one more time nope oh yes yes it should be like this not enough space and works yes I feel this air from also from this side also okay next step I will try install this one and connect to power button and then use all the stuff I will show you maybe like the final result of this okay my friends let's see right now I connected by hole to my the screen to this monitor also I connected this to AC and now I am gonna start this first time it's gonna be inside like this let's try oh I hear like fan spins and uh, this monitor oh yes welcome to the Raspberry Pi desktop right now it has uh, another age of IP address and I can't connect this from my network or I have to change this but I don't want to do this maybe uh, I will check this at my work Oops. mouse but I have mouse yes I have mouse also and extra keyboard let's connect it the USB look at this yes it works stop it works okay next I'm gonna cover everything and then start it again okay my dear friends now it looks like this just a box old power supplier it was broken pen button this connector be honest I don't like how it fits but maybe I will order this adapter which is like corner adapter inside and it's gonna be connected also from inside because I don't need this plug in and plug every time and actually this too is like almost never use from this side you can see it looks inside maybe this no okay also I wanted to also use this one for cooling CPU but I couldn't like fix it correctly every time it was wasn't stable I mean I'm not gonna use it okay let's try one more time connect it check how it works this mouse connection then HDMI let's start yes works and we will see yeah signal goes to monitor maybe 
I should try also internet cable connect to see on this one I have free. Maybe I should enable Wi-Fi. I don't know. Yeah. Yes, it also works without any problem. Look at this. Yes. Also, I, I have this IP for my work network. I can maybe now use. Okay. Automate USB. Let's try. But I can't check it. Maybe <laughs> only with CMD and for this I need. Yeah. But try to go to the internet without keyboard. Let's check it. So uh, quite slow. I don't know. Cancel. Restore. Getting start. Seems like it doesn't work. Okay. Connection, but doesn't matter. We can for example oh, I don't remember my passwords from Wi Fi. No, right now I have to restart DHCP on wireless. What is it? <laughs> no, it's Wi-Fi. This one my okay. Everything works. Anyway. Half a day project. Mini PC. I don't know. With cooling. And maybe also I should add one button to turn on and off fan quite noisy i don't know not so noisy but we will see maybe i'll do it thank you very much for watching and see you next time